All right. Good evening, everyone. For some of you, good morning. It is currently 12.37 a.m. on Friday, November 22nd of 2013, here on the East Coast of the United States. I am Dark Side Phil, and welcome to my very special release night unboxing event of Xbox One. And first of all, what you are currently seeing is some fan art submitted by my fans for this very special event. So I want to say thank you to everyone who did submit fan art. Unfortunately, I think I did get one or two entries like super late, like during my stream earlier tonight. Obviously, I don't have time to add it into the montage at this point. So I apologize for that. But thank you regardless for submitting this art. It is excellent. It is fun. Uh, the agenda for tonight... Uh, First, an unboxing, live unboxing of the Xbox One. We're going to look at everything in the box. We're going to look at all the components. We're going to compare the controller of Xbox One to Xbox 360. We're going to check out everything in there. Weigh it, you know, even CG. Is it heavy? How does it sit on the table, etc. Then, <clears throat> we're going to unbox the three retail games that I purchased at the GameStop tonight. I think you're going to be very interested in this because, I'm going to, I'm going to be honest, they look really weird to me. <laughs> I didn't think they would look like this. They look quite odd. And I think you may be like, huh, when you see this too. Okay. Uh, I'm already looking at some things on the boxes that might be interesting for you to, to know as well. Okay. Then, after we do a full unboxing, I'll probably take a short break to reposition my cameras and everything. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a setup video where I set up the console, I put it down in my entertainment center, I hook up all the wires, I set up the connect, I hook up all those wires, and then I'll probably take another break to set up the stream, and then I'm going to come back and do direct capture feed, in, feed from the Xbox One, booting it up for the first time, showing you the walkthrough of the, the everything, the dashboard, everything. It's going to cover everything tonight. So I thank you whether you're watching this live on Twitch TV or you're watching this relatively you know, new on, on YouTube because I am going to upload it right away. Uh, thank you for joining me. This is going to be a very informative, hopefully entertaining process for you as well as me. And uh, that's it. So without further ado, let's get started with the unboxing first of the X Boner. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Xbox One. <laughs> All right. All right, so hello everyone out there. As you can see, I'm here in my living room, on my couch. I'm ready to unbox the Xbox One. And what I wanted to do at first was give you some perspective uh, at it, what it looks like, etc. So first of all, right in front of me here, I actually have the box of the Xbox One, which I'm going to lift up and show you. It is heavy as hell. I'm going to go on a limb and say it might be the heaviest console I've ever owned in my entire life. It's that heavy. All right, here we go. And yes, I know my hair's screwed up. I don't care. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't even lift it above my head. It weighs like 15 pounds. I'm serious. It's really fucking heavy. It's incredibly heavy. I don't know what they were thinking with this thing that would be this heavy. But it is insanely heavy. It's heavier than my PS4 or my PS4, and my, uh, my PS3. Maybe combined. I'm not even kidding. All right? So that's what the front of the box looks like. All right? Side. Back. Side. Tells you what it comes with. The console, the Kinect, a controller, the headset, the HDMI cable, wireless built-in, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Here's the top. Woohoo. And here's the bottom. So do you notice something? I just want to ask you guys something. You notice something? It's one of the most bland boxes I've ever seen in my life. There's like nothing on it that even is interesting. I mean, just take a look at the PS4. Look at that. Color, design on the back. Ooh, games. You know, here it's just like, well, fuck it. It's black. Have a fucking black box. Okay. Wow. Wow. All right, so also, the three games that we picked up tonight, which is, again, I want to show you, they look really weird. Check this out. Forza. Rise. And Dead Rising 3. Do you notice a pattern between the three of them? Because they're day one edition, they all have metallic silver. They're all, they're all metallic silver. 
really like weird that they would make the game box art a metallic silver if anything like this don't you want to see zombies there's not even a zombie on the cover of dead rising 3 it's all metallic silver even the back oh i gotta show you this the back is incredibly hard to read because the text is in tiny black but the back is metallic silver so you can almost you almost can't even read the, the text on the back of your games all right so those are the games. We're going to look at those in a minute because I have some things I want to show you on the back of them, but we'll, we'll get to that. Let's do the unboxing of the console first. So what I'm going to do is reposition my camera to point right here, which is what I did for the PS3, and then I can actually show you everything. So give me a second here. Reposition the camera. How do you guys like my on-the-fly cinematography? Here we go. On the fly cinematography. That's how it's done. Okay. Oh, fuck me. That is heavy. All right. So here we go. Xbox One. Oh, two stickers. Okay. We got to lay it flat. Similar to the PS4, you got to lay it flat. All right. Here we go. It's full of spiders. Oh, oh, oh. No. <laughs> I'm the one unlucky chum who when he opened his Xbox One, it was full of giant tarantula spiders. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, so. If I can lift this up a bit. So what I see here, this is the probably the Kinect. And this is accessories for the console or the console itself. Let's remove this. Okay. I don't have a clue yet. Quick setup guide. Oh, the Xbox sticker. That's what I've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. $599 or however much you paid for this. What, $499? I got my fucking sticker. There you go. Now, hold on. Let me make sure these are, these are probably codes. So I'm going to hold these off camera and take a look at these. Yeah, there's some new stuff here. We've got two codes, all right? And I can just show you the front of these. The first one is a 14-day trial of Xbox Live. Now, I already have Xbox Live. I've had it for years. I've decided I am immediately going to give this code away to lucky viewer. So one of you is about to get 14 days of Xbox Live Gold. Congratulations. The code is... I almost fucked it up. That wasn't the first thing. 6 d m P G dash Q C P D Q dash R V M W K dash V six R B R dash K Y T K G. So someone just won 14 days of Xbox Live. Congratulations to you. Now the other one. I'm reading it from the back because I don't want to show you the code, but it says, Thank you for being part of day one. You are one of the first to experience a new generation of entertainment. To commemorate this moment, we've created an exclusive day one achievement for you. Welcome to Xbox One. So apparently now they're giving you achievements as rewards. What? <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to put that in when we boot it up for the first time. All right. What do we got here? Before we even touch any of the hardware, we got a ton of stuff on the bottom here. Let's see. We've got the headset. Oh, people might want to see what the headset looks like. Whoa. Here it is. Here's the headset. Very basic. A little sleek. Actually, it's better looking than the one that came with the Xbox 360. That thing was hideous. It was like purple and white, and it thing faded after like a couple weeks. So, this is the headset you get with your Xbox One. Get this opened here. Couple unique things to, to mention. Number one, it's got a proprietary connector. That's right. See that? The microphone connector for the Xbox One or the headset connector is proprietary, meaning you cannot use 
your existing headset to use chat on the Xbox One. It doesn't work. So, if you're going to use voice chat on the Xbox One, you've got to use this headset. The other thing that's kind of interesting, the wire here, take a look at the wire. It's, it's that kind of wire that it's not standard, it's flat. See how it's flat? See that? I think it makes it a little bit more durable. This is actually the kind of wire that they sell with like a pair of Beats headphones from uh, Dre. I, I know people might be saying, oh, you know about Beats? Yeah. Uh, they have this kind because it. Uh, if they say that supposedly this doesn't ta tangle up as much as a, just a rounded wire. I don't know if that's true or not. Okay. So, here's your headset. What do we got here? Underneath, wow, what's this? This is probably the... Oh, this is the HDMI cable. Okay. Wow, it's heavy. This is the heaviest... This is the heaviest HDMI cable I've ever felt in my life. It's... Look how thick it is. That's what it is. They made a super durable, heavy-duty cable, it looks like. See that? That's your HDMI cable that comes with it. I think I know what this is. Ooh, it's fancy. This is your day one exclusive Xbox One controller. So how is this different from the standard Xbox One controller? Well, I actually unboxed the standard Xbox One controller earlier in the day. This is metallic, and the D-pad is also metallic. And to me, that looks like that's probably the only difference. Everything is looking identical to me. Yep, everything else is identical. All right? Now, one of the things that they changed about this from the Xbox 360 pad... No, it's not that it runs on batteries, because it does. Unlike the PS4 controller, it still runs on AA batteries, or, or you can buy a rechargeable battery pack to put inside, but I usually just use the AA batteries. But what they've done, they removed the big chunky battery pack from the back of the controller. If you remember here on the Xbox 360, look, here it is. The giant chunky motherfucker, they removed it, and they made it flat. So now, you just do this. And you put your batteries in. You know what? What the hell? I'll do it right now. Batteries are included. Duracells. Two Duracell batteries. Let's see. Minus. Plus. There we go. They pop in just like that. Doors closed, that's it. Weight-wise... I'd say they're about the same weight. I don't think one's really any significantly heavier than the other. Um, changes to the design. Aesthetically, let me hold this up. Aesthetically, they're very similar. There's really not that much of a change when you look at it. Um... The D-pad is the one notable change where the D-pad is a standard four direction instead of this stupid fucking circle that never worked properly for anything. Um, also, as you can see, they've improved supposedly the thumbsticks. The thumbsticks have even more of a, uh, a, a indentation in them now. Um, I mentioned this before. To click the thumbstick seems incredibly easy versus on here. You have to give it a little bit more force to get it to click in. Here it seems like, like extremely easy, all right? Another change that they made is the triggers. Do a little closer to the camera. As you can see, the triggers on the Xbox 360 controller are very small. The ones on this new Xbox One controller are actually very wide. In addition, as you can see, they've increased the surface area of the bumpers, the right and left bumpers, all right? Also, the, it looks like the cord, the connection cord to charge it is a different cord completely. That's interesting to know. Um, one thing that I noticed when I unboxed my other controller earlier today, compared to the Xbox 360, where it's actually a little bit of resistance, like a harder spring on the triggers, on the Xbox One, there's almost no resistance at all. Look. So, in that regard, 
You might have to get used to it, especially if it's a first-person shooter or a game where you use left trigger to aim and right trigger to fire. You might have to get used to that the triggers are, have a lot less resistance now, okay? So that's the Xbox One controller, Day One 2013. It says right there on the front, and that's that. So that's the controller, okay? What do we got next here? Let's get this 360 controller out of the way. The power adapter. I was actually wondering about this too. How big would it be? And man, did they... They did not improve this one bit. It is a fucking insane beast of a power adapter. In fact, this is bigger than the Xbox 360 power adapter. Holy shit. It's insanely large. Now... The thing is, it's actually not very heavy. It's actually kind of light, so you can tell it's hollow on the inside. But look, it's a brick. It's a fucking brick. You could kill someone with this. You could just run up to someone in the street and say, Give me your Xbox One! And smash his face with this, and his head would explode. It's ridiculously large. Alright? Um, I don't know why, but there's a piece of plastic protecting it. I guess maybe to protect the Xbox logo? That's kind of stupid. I'm going to take the piece of plastic off. Oh, wow. Look at this. Under the plastic, it's shiny. So one side is like a matte finish, and the other side is shiny. In fact, you know what? The box is like that, too. And how much you want to bet the console and the Kinect look like that, too? So it's some kind of a stylistic kind of a deal here. There's the kind of power adapter it is. So it must be proprietary to the Xbox One. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take that off, too. It may be a brick, but it's a good-looking brick, all right? We put some fancy shit on it. Half is matte and half is glossy. And that's why you should like it. <laughs> well, I can't even get this off. I can't even get this fucking thing off the way that they taped it on here. Here we are. Got it. There. Put the HDMI cable over there. Start grabbing all these bags. Putting them back in. Okay. So that's the power adapter right there. So this, I have to assume, is the Kinect. The new Kinect, the Kinect 2.0, if you will. Alright. Which immediately I'm going to say, how am I supposed to attach this to my television? Because as you can see, there's nothing. I don't think this thing comes with something to put it on top of your TV, which is going to be a problem for me because I have nowhere to put it underneath my TV. I actually have a speaker sitting underneath my TV. What they're telling you to do is don't touch it. That's what this is. Don't touch it. I don't know what the fuck that means. Oh, push the button. That's not even a button. Maybe it's a touch sensor. Huh. Okay. It's insanely large. In fact, watch this. Come prepared. I always come prepared. Here's the original Connect. Here's the new Connect 2.0. I could tell you right now, without any hesitation, the Kinect 2.0 weighs twice as much as the original Kinect. This thing is a beast. It weighs several pounds. This is barely a pound and a half. It's ridiculously heavy, all right? The other thing, the original Kinect, look, had this thing that you could buy a mount for it. What am I supposed to do with this? Unless there's an adapter in the box, I don't see how this is supposed to sit on top of my television. So we might have a problem tonight. I'm going to go put this connect back because it's a piece of shit and I'm going to throw it out afterwards. Okay. So. Here's the connect. Let's take this piece of plastic off of it and see what we've got here. The 
Connect 2.0, all I can see on it is one camera, not the three from the original, all right? I don't know how that's going to work. Unless it's just invisible and I can't see it. The whole thing's shiny. The whole front is shiny as hell. And uh, here's the cord. Once again, another proprietary connection. We're probably going to have to take the cap off of this cord here. Another ridiculously proprietary connection you won't find anywhere else. All right. And in interestingly enough, the back of the Connect 2.0 has a fan on it. Look, a fan. Like, it's part of a fucking PC. Look at that. A fan. I wonder how loud this thing's gonna be when we turn it on. That's gonna be an interesting test. Can you hear going in front of your fucking TV? Wow. Okay, so that's the Connect 2.0. Interesting. Hmm. So that's the front portion of the box. Now I get the feeling what they want us to do is lift this out to actually find the console. Here it is. Oh my god. Oh! I can't get it out! over here holy shit oh my god this is heavier than the xbox one it's heavier than the ps3 it's heavier than the xbox 360 and it's heavier than the ps4 it's the heaviest console i've ever had in my arms it's incredibly heavy holy shit Oh my god. Huh. Okay. Let's take a look. The very first time at the Xbox One. Oh my god. Fuck. It's like holding a fucking six month old baby. Uh, Alright. So the front, as you can see, glossy on one side. Very streamlined on the other. You've got your... Disk drive right there, the top. Same kind of deal with the with the, the other things. Glossy on one side, ventilation on the other side. On this side, you've got absolutely nothing whatsoever. On this side, you've got. Well, I, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's the eject button. No, because the eject button's on the front. I don't know what. Oh, the, you know what that is. That's the wireless connectivity button to connect the controller. That's what that is. You hold that down. You've got one USB port. One USB port on the side. Oh. On the back. On the back, you've got whew, power adapter connection. HDMI out to your TV. Now, that's nice. The sticker that they put on here is actually coming off. I'm not even kidding. SPDIF, which is for your optical audio out, even though at this point it doesn't support Dolby surround sound. I'm not kidding. So if you have anything that uses Dolby surround sound, you can't get surround sound out of this port at all. It only uses DTS, which is bullshit, because almost nothing uses DTS. You've got HDMI in from your satellite or cable receiver, so your cable box. Two more USB ports. So it only has three. Okay. You've got the Connect, the Connect 2.0 proprietary connection. You've got IR out. I don't have a effing clue what that means. IR out. Uh, okay, sure. And then last but not least, you've got the Ethernet for your internet. So let me get this closer to the camera. Holy shit. To show you what it looks like.
the top. You can even see yourselves. Look at that. Say hello to yourselves, everyone. Hello. Nothing there. The bottom is very plain. All the connections on the back. And your USB port on the side. Okay. So that is the console. And guess what? As I said, we just went through the entire box, right? I didn't miss anything. In fact, hold on. I want to be sure I didn't. Because I don't want someone to say, oh, Phil, you're such a liar. I want to be sure. Hold on. Let me move the box. Right? There's nothing extra. There's nothing I missed, right? This is all packing materials. I'm not lying. Ladies and gentlemen, there's absolutely no way to mount your Kinect on top of your television out of the box. There's no way to do that. They've completely taken that functionality out. In fact, if you remember, a week ago I unboxed the PS camera, the PlayStation camera for, for uh, PS4. That easily goes on top of your television, all right? Now, when I was at my local GameStop today, I asked them, how does this go on top of your TV? They said, not only do they have no idea, but they don't have any accessories to buy to attach it to the top of your TV. Microsoft didn't sell them. Didn't send them any. So right now, guess what? I have nothing that I can use to attach this to the top of my TV. All we've got is this. And that is a screw. That screw is not going to attach this the unit to the top of my TV because the top of the TV doesn't have a fucking screw hole in it. It's a flat screen. Now I'm curious. I want to see something. Very curious. Hold on. Hmm. I don't think this is going to work either, but it may be worth a shot. What I'm showing you here is the old mount for the old Kinect. This is what I used to connect the old Kinect to my television. And what it has is a top, all right, with a screw. Let's see something here. I may have lucked out here. I may have lucked out if I can get this off. Oh my god, it won't move. Shit. There it is. It came off. See that? What I may be able to do is flip it. and finagle some way to have this attach have this attach and then screw it on the top of that and that could work but you know what? it's not fitting I can't do it upside down hmm all right, then how about this? How about... This could work. This... Nah, this won't really attach it, though. Hmm. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to brainstorm a way to make this work. I'm going to have to. To make this hold the new Kinect. Really? Really? Let's see if this actually fits, if this screw fits the connect. It fits perfectly. Wow. What were the chances I would have a screw that fit the new connect perfectly? All right. It fits. That's nuts. That is pretty nuts. So we're going to do this later because I'm not hooking it up yet. I'm going to hook it up in a few minutes. We're going to try to finagle a way to get an old mount for the old Kinect to work with the new Kinect. That's coming up. But for now, all right, I digress. Don't need to do that right now for this part anyway. Okay. 
Now, to finish the, the full unboxing, we are going to open the games. All right? First Rise, Son of Rome. Day one edition, by the way. Ooh. This is an odd box. It is It is basically the, the shape of almost like a, a Blu-ray. We'll, we'll compare in a minute. Let me get it open first. If you remember last generation, Microsoft basically had boxes that were almost standard uh, DVD boxes. I guess this generation, they're going for something different. So Rise, Son of Rome. It, now, here's what I want to show you. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it because it's tiny. They have removed from the back of the Xbox One boxes. It doesn't say what resolution the game renders in. And I know it's blurry now. You can't read it. There's no area here that says what resolution the game renders in. Now... That's a cop-out, because if you remember, on the back of the Xbox 360, they always told you what resolutions the game rendered in. They lied half the time. They would tell you that it's 1080p, when really it's native 720p, and it would upscale it. But it's gone. They took it off the box. And I'm almost wondering, did they do that on purpose? Because they don't want you to really know what the resolution of the games are. All right? Especially with all the rumors swirling that most games on this console are going to be 720p. So here we go. That's weird. The game disc is on the left. How often did you buy a game and the game was on the left? Huh. And there's a code here. I'm going to see what it is. Hold on. This is a day one code. It doesn't say what comes with it, though. Now, this is interesting. Ooh. You can do, wow, you can redeem codes multiple ways. Get this. On Xbox One, say Xbox use a code or select Xbox Store Browse Games use a code or use the QR code. There's actually a QR code, the one that you scan usually with like your phone on here and it automatically says the Connect will enter the code for you. You don't have to enter the digits at all. Hmm. Or it says you can just enter the code traditionally by entering the 25 digits. That's interesting, though. If you have a code from now on, DLC, you just go, bloop, scan it, and you're done. No more oh, fumbling around trying to enter 25 characters. I might like this. That might be a cool improvement, all right? But it doesn't say what it is. It says game add-on, but it doesn't say what you get. So I have no idea. We've also got, oh my goodness, we got it again, a three-day Xbox Live trial. <laughs> Holy shit, we got a ton of these. I'm going to give this away right now. Ladies and gentlemen, three-day trial incoming. Get ready. It is CTQ3YHKJRJD6T4KHYKJMJ4PHH. Boom. Someone else just got a couple days of Xbox Live there. Congratulations. Well, actually, it was three days, not a couple. All right. So, that's what's inside Rise, Son of Rome. I'll read you the back of the box. It's impossible to read because, as I said, it's black text on fucking silver. So, let me read this for you. It says, includes exclusive multiplayer map with sword and bonus attributes. So, maybe that's what you get for the code. It says, Xbox brings the brutal intensity of close quarters combat to life in visceral detail. Stem into the breathtaking recreation of the Roman Empire. Battle hordes of enemies for fame and glory in the multiplayer Colosseum. One player... One player on Xbox Live or one to two player co-op on Xbox Live. So there is co-op in the game if you know someone else who bought an Xbox One and has this game. It does use the impulse triggers, which remember I told you the new triggers, they feel different. It utilizes these in some way, it says. It does use Xbox Smart Glass. So if you have the Smart Glass app on your tablet, this game will use Smart Glass. And last but not least, it says Connect Voice is enabled but optional. And I should know, it says right on the box, 
47 gigabyte required install to play the game. So just like with PS4 last week, this generation of consoles is forcing you into these huge installs. 47 gigs for Rise. Okay. What's next? Forza 5. Mo I'm sorry. Forza Motorsport 5. Because that's right. If you actually want the Kinect to listen, you have to say the full name of the game, not an abbreviation. You can't just say Forza or Forza 5. Xbox Play Forza. It says, no, say the name of the game. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd like to play Xbox. Please play Forza Motorsport 5. And then it'll work. <laughs> okay, so let's open this. Forza. <laughs> All right. Forza Motorsport 5. Oh, I didn't take the sticker off. Oops. I don't believe this one has any exclusive content. Let's find out. I'm going to look first before I show you guys codes. Oh, it does. It does. It's got... Wow. Oh, my goodness. Where do you see this? The game... Again on the left, seven-day Xbox Live Gold trial, and then it's got your exclusive day one content, which I'm going to see what it says. It says it is three unique cars featuring an exclusive day one livery and tuning package from Turn 10, including the 2011 Lamborghini Gallardo, the LP570-4 Superleggera, the 2010 Audi Double Double T RS Coupe, and the 2013 Ford Focus ST. Those are the cards you get. Oh, excuse me. Those are the cards you get for day one version. The cards you get, not the cards you get. All right, get ready. Here we go again. Seven-day Xbox Live Gold trial is FFWMP-F... I fucked it up. Let me start over. Blah. FFWMP-4XPJK-PM2G8... Dash K six three nine G dash G X X X eight. That's right. Triple X. There you go. Alright. So that's four Zell. Let me read the back for you. The definitive racing game is only possible on Xbox One. The highest rated racing franchise of the past 10 years by Metacritic. Top Gear. Race the Top Gear test track or explore the career narrated by the hosts of Top Gear UK. Never race alone. Powered by the cloud. Drive Avatar. Learning technology delivers an ever-evolving network of human-like opponents that drive like your friends. Unprecedented virtual realism. All new graphics engine. It says that does run in 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second. From all intents, from what everyone's heard, this is the only game right now running at full 1080p and 60 frames per second. They put it on the box. And then, of course, your Ultimate Car Fantasy, their usual bullshit. One or two players offline. That's interesting. I can actually play this with John tomorrow. Cool. My friend John's coming over to do co-op on Xbox One tomorrow. We can actually play this two-player. I did not know that. It also says Xbox Live, 2 to 16 players. 16-player multiplayer. Connect Voice is optional, and the Force Feedback Wheel optional. So, of course, new console, driving game, they're going to make an accessory, a wheel that you buy. All right, so that is Forza. Two down, one to go. Dead Rising 3. Let's open this sucker. Where's my knife? This one I would really seriously doubt if they're going to give you a free Xbox Live promo code for this one. Since it's just... Co-op is optional. It's not like there's a competitive multiplayer in it. So, let's see. Okay, I'm going to open it. I was wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, I was wrong. Wow. Pretty good that every game comes with some Xbox Live. Dead Rising 3. Dead Rising 3 exclusive content. Day 1 content. And boom, a 3-day... Xbox Live Gold Trial Card. So what do you get for this content? Let's find out. The content is ex exclusive Frank West and Chuck Green tribute packs and bonus attributes for your character. All right. 
Very nice. So let's go ahead and give away this code, and then I'll read the box, and then we'll finally have unboxed everything. Okay? So the code is three days of Xbox Live. Get ready, everybody. 499J9 dash GD9FB dash MGJ Q8 dash J92QP dash X83V4. So that is it for the basic unboxing of the Xbox One, the beast that is the Xbox One, the largest, heaviest console I've ever owned. I guess maybe if I had owned a 3DO or something like that, it would have rivaled this, but this is a beast, man. This is just incredibly large. And, uh, whew. It's going to be a daunting task to hook it up simply because, like I said, the Kinect has no mount with it. So I'm going to have to find a way to get my old mount to work with the Kinect, which I'm probably going to work on in a minute. So that is it for the basic unboxing of... Let me... Hold on a second. can't even see me. There. That is it for the basic unboxing of the Xbox One. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. I just learned a few things. I seriously did. I learned a few things about the system just by unboxing it, it live here. And, uh, all right, what I'm going to do right now, if you're watching this live on Twitch, I'm about to take a break because I'm going to do two things. I'm going to actually have this video start uploading to YouTube, but at the same time, I'm going to fuck around with this thing a little bit and see if I can make this work with the new Kinect 2.0. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, no worries. I'm going to be uploading the next video, which is going to be me setting everything up and actually hooking up the Kinect and hooking up the console and hooking everything up to my setup over here. So I'll be back in a few short minutes, everyone. Don't go anywhere. If you're on YouTube, just go to the next video when it's live. Thank you and see you in a little bit.